hey guys welcome back to my channel and i am getting ready to install that beautiful uh bob wig that you've seen at the beginning of this video it was giving very much perm fresh out the chair okay and i am getting ready to start my ball cap now i don't know what's up with me in ball caps it's kind of like a hit and miss but today was okay i use a wig cap because i did not have any more stocking caps that i normally would use and honestly i have updated my routine so much over time because i learn different things as i go honestly to this time was crazy i didn't have my foundation all i had was my concealer and later on i ended up finding my foundation but i still didn't have my brush so it was still like oh my god what's going on what is the universe trying to tell me do i not need to put this wig on but it did it just told me to work with what i got you know <laughs> So, using this bow hold, I ended up uh, sealing the edges of this wig cap. It's not necessary, honestly, because once you get ready to put on the layers, it'll end up doing it anyways. But nonetheless, let's keep moving. I use the micellar water to basically clean up the round the edges and then the skin protectant just to seal those edges. And that way we can prevent any hair loss during this process and also we don't want any harsh chemicals going directly on our skin without it being clean and then bacteria mixing with it it's just bad so let's pin it back and let's get started this boho extreme cream um and i'm going to do three layers of this letting it dry i did i do not use a blow dryer during this process honestly i just find that if you are applying the glue properly and making sure that the layers are fairly thin and making sure that it's like you know really really you know in there you don't need a blender i mean blender I can't believe I just said blender. I don't know what I'm thinking about. It's late, so I'm doing this at a late time. But anyways, moving along, okay? I like you didn't hear that. <laughs> you don't need a blow dryer. Honestly, once you do uh, those layers fairly thin like I'm doing it right now, you can see it drying as I'm moving on to the next layer. And um, I'm just filling in the gaps as I go. Now, once I did this, I realized like, okay, when i put those layers on there i went straight in and applied it super neat like i made sure i took my time i did not rush like i usually do and honestly this is an old wig but i love it it's an oldie but a goodie and every time i apply it i do the most as you guys can see on my last video when i had this wig on it's a fix my wig with me and i was in a rush and i did not lay it properly it was a mess and i don't care about the mistakes i made along the way it taught me so much and i learned so much with these wigs that it's not even funny i'm still in the learning process but god i've learned so much with it thus far so look at that i've applied um a little bit more concealer to the edges of this now like i said i ended up finding my foundation but that wasn't until the next day once i put my um i was taking the band off i was like oh my god here's the foundation <laughs> anyways i took a little pump it up for the edges of this wig just to make sure that it's nice and flat so when i put the um you know the band on it it can be you know nice and laid i went ahead and blow dried it uh, using cool air um and then i went ahead and put up put on my uh elastic band 
so it is the next day and look at her look like she just rolled out of bed but i didn't i brushed my teeth washed my face before i got up on the camera as you guys can see the glow but here's the foundation i said i found oh my god i was like oh my goodness like where were you hiding all this time but anyways i found it so usually when i wear this wig i will have a side part where it will be like really feathery but i wanted something different i ended up doing a middle part and i didn't realize how you know bronzy it looked on there so i ended up putting a little foundation on that part just to mount it out blend it out and this wig always gave very natural i don't really have to do much flat ironing to this wig to be honest i did a very light flat ironing because it's super soft it always bounced back it always give me the perfect flat iron every single time so i didn't really have to do much to this i just went ahead and flat ironed it hot combed it and you know gave it the works to give it that fresh perm look i love it so So the reason I was using this hot comb, as you guys can see, this side was not laying down. Now keep in mind, this is the this is the opposite side of which I told you that I kept doing the side part with. So this wig, the entire time I've ever worn it, it always had a side part. So I had to manipulate it and get this piece to lay down because it's not used to being on this side. And honey, it was hard. So I had to do piece by piece layer by layer because i needed this side to lay down and since was not cooperating so you might see me using this uh hot comb for quite some time but nonetheless i got her to lay down okay <laughs>
So I just did all that just to find out that the part was not in the middle. Like, can you believe me? Like, I just did all that flat ironing and hot combing just to find out that the part was not in the middle. But nonetheless, it was a small part, but that small part do makes a huge difference. And I had to go back over with the hot comb again, but that's part of the job, I guess. <laughs> but it turned out really, really nice. Like, it looked like I had a fresh perm. Like, I just went to the beauty salon and got in somebody's chair. It was absolutely beautiful. So, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was more so like a look and learn or like, you know, get ready with me type of video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's just giving you guys some new content on my channel. And I really hope that you guys are here to stay. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be aware of when I post. And like I always say, nevertheless, never stress, always bless. Bye.